Hey families, I just wanted to record a quick video of me reading off the homework for tonight. Um, on page uh, 71, we have a question that's going to ask, Zafar has one dime, one nickel, and two pennies. Petra has three times as much money as Zafar. A is going to ask, how much money does Petra want have? Show your work using numbers, labeled sketches, or words. Write an equation that, to represent this problem. So up here, we did the same thing, just with some different coins. And I'm hoping that with the work that we did up here, that it works out kind of the same here. I'd really recommend that the students do write out one nickel. They write out two pennies and a dime and put how much cents that is next to it so that the multiplication goes easier. And on to the next page. All right. The money multiplication wheel was our next question that I wanted to assign to them. So multiplication wheels are very Very difficult to look at, but they're really simple once you get the concept of it down. So essentially, you're starting here in this inner circle, and in this case it's 10 cents, and you multiply out. So this whole little flower leaf wheel part is just technically two times 10 cents, and that's gonna equal 20 cents. And that's the basis of how it works. Um, you're going to have a few that are missing one part, like this one. And on this one, you're just going to work backwards. So you're going to start with the total that's out here. In this case, it's 30 cents. And you're just going to divide by 10 cents. And right here, if we just break it down like dimes, hopefully the kids are going to know that this is really just three dimes. So that's kind of how the multiplication wheel works. Uh, we've done a few of those in the past now, and I'm hoping by now the kids understand it somewhat. All right. What we're going to do for our last homework question is our challenge. Tara counted the coins in her bank and found 25 dimes, 12 quarters, and 15 nickels. She saves twice as much next month. How much money will she have in all? So with this one, um, it's going to be very, very important that the students do write out 25 dimes, right? And I'm just going to put a lowercase b. Well, they're going to need to write out 12. I'll put a lowercase q. And then 15 nickels. And from here, they're going to be able to multiply by 2. And when they get their totals, they just need to add them all together. All right? And when they add them all together, that will be how much money she has for the month. Um, I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message on Class Dojo. Um, I should be able to respond pretty quickly. I have an event at church tonight, but it won't take too long. All right. Have a good one.